meeting rules largely the same as last year, what I call a LeBranch standard. Uh, even though he's not here to verify that it's his standard. <laughs> Uh, speak only when recognized by the chair. Speak only in context of the present topic. Calling a vote on all motions at the discretion of the chair. Vote tallies determined by the chair. Request for appointments. This is a little bit of a, a new thing, I think. Slight variation. Request for appointments from non-members to be granted by the chair. If the request is denied, then subject it is subject to a majority vote. So the majority vote can overrule the chair if the chair denies someone's request to have an appointment, okay? Um, and then the, the final twist here is, you know, during our public hearing, which occurs in January, traditionally, mm -hmm. although we may very well have one this summer, <laughs> yes. uh, motions for reconsider reconsideration of votes can only be made by those members who were in the majority on the previous vote. Now. The extra change here that I'm proposing is in case there was a tie in the previous vote, there, of course, there's no majority, and so we're deadlocked and no one can make a motion to reconsider, which is something we ran into a couple of years ago. And I wanted to make this change last year, but it didn't quite sell for whatever reason. I'm still proposing it this year. In the case of a tie in the previous vote, any member who voted previously may make the motion to reconsider. So uh, that's the nutshell of the rules uh, that I would suggest. Uh, any thoughts, comments, uh, modifications? Brian? Let me think about this. All right, I'll uh, go to the other Brian. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can play this, this will be interesting. Mm -hmm. Brian and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lapham, do you have any thoughts on that rule that is proposed? Um, <laughs> no, I don't. You okay with them? Okay. Regina? I think they sound good. I'm okay, okay with them. Frank? I'm fine with it. I'm okay if it's legal, and I'll tell you why I say that. It has always been the case that if you're going to reconsider a vote, the, the person who moves the reconsideration has to be in the majority. Mm -hmm. The second, it could be one that wasn't. So you're saying... I, I guess, does it defeat the purpose of why we had a reconsideration in the first place if anybody can do it? I mean, if we're on good legal ground, I don't, once again, I don't have an issue with it, but I know that traditionally it's always been the person who reconsiders has to be from the majority vote. Seconded could be if Brian, for instance, was on the minority. <coughs> That's all I'm saying. If we're on good legal ground, I have no problem with that. You might want to ask that question. Okay, any further thoughts? Well, I would agree with that. Okay. Well, uh, I, I would agree that there is a legal consideration that has to be more fully made. Yeah. Um, I would point out that both the ma motion maker and the second seconder are both motion makers, and both must be in the majority. And that has been the way we've been operating for the last few years. Um, if you make a second to a motion, you are part of the making of the motion. Thus, you are a motion maker. Okay. So, that with that twist, I basically agree with you. The problem comes down to this. If we have a tie vote, mm -hmm. then we're deadlocked. And no matter what the public says to us, we cannot change our vote. Because there is no majority. Well, a tie vote, in essence, is no vote. Right. So, you're not reconsidering anything. No, we've made a, we've made a stand. It actually, it shows up on the ballot as not recommended, say, 4-4. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I mean, if it's, stand, if it's on legal ground, I'm fine. But when you say that we've been doing it this way, I, I can tell you a tie vote has never been, that's not a vote. I mean, it's just not a vote. Well, that's the problem we had a couple of years ago. Yeah. All right, and it produced a lot of argument. Um, and we did not have any, any uh, consideration for tie in our rule. Yeah. Um, I am aware from my own memory, cobweb-wise, cobweb memory, <laughs> that there's something in the law about that, all right? Um, I'll, I'll have to revisit that and check that, but... Uh, I would check that, and let me just comment again, because you brought up a nice point. If you reconsider a vote, the first vote has to be a majority. The second one could absolutely still be the majority, but there could be that second that somebody's in the minority, but the absolute first one has the to second, be... The second, the motion. The right. one that has to be... Do, has right, to that be. is not clear to me. Yeah, it... Mm -hmm. 
it was always the case, and that's what I said. It might be good to ask. That's the a town procedural council. thing. I mean, if it's not in the law, then it's up to us to make a rule about it. Because think about it: if you're on the losing vote, why are you going to reconsider? Why is the law going to allow you to reconsider? I mean, it's, I'm just saying what it used to be. If it's le if you're on legal ground, I'm fine with all of this. I, I just would, I just think we should be clear because if we get into these situations, we've got nine members now. We're down to the nine that the voters have voted in, mm -hmm. which is an odd odd number. But I could see nights where we have eight people here. Yeah. And it could get a little. So I, I just want to be clear going forward. But you're bringing up some great points. I just kind of, if we could just kind of fine tune it, I'm all for it. I'll I'll I'll, um, I'll, I'll check the law. I haven't recently done so on this point. Um, and so my memory, as I said, has cobwebs on it. But I am quite I certain a lot to the go. person making a second is is a motion maker by definition. And if there is a law about that, it applies to both the seconder and Could the be right. primary motion maker. Yeah. I, uh, we yeah. and we've practiced it that way for the last few years too, by the way. Okay. Uh, yeah. That. I did come up with one thing. Yeah. And I don't know if it's legal or not. Um, in the past, after we've had the public hearing, we have always met on any articles, money warrant articles, mm -hmm. after the meeting, to say, okay, do we want to change our votes? Do we not? Etc. We didn't do it this past year. Yeah, we did. Nope, we didn't. Yeah. I was at the meeting, and we did not go through that that process. We did. And I'm just wondering, is it something we created or the state? I've been trying to look it up. No, last year we did. Last year we broke up the public hearing uh, into different seg uh, sections. Right. Like we did the flood p uh, topics first. Right. And then after we heard the public on the flood topics, uh, there was an opportunity for uh, reconsideration. No one had made a motion for reconsideration, but the opportunity was there. And then there was some. Then we went to the body of the remainder articles, and right. and we did have, I think, we, we had, had a, two. Changes. We had a reconsideration on the sidewalks. They yeah. haven't made all sidewalks. Yeah. So yeah, we did do reconsideration after hearing from the public. So yeah, we did follow that, but it didn't change. No, it didn't. It didn't change. It it, it didn't. I don't we didn't follow. go through the formality of. We did. If we were going to make a change or not, is what I'm saying. Oh, you and mean I'm the saying, motion to reconsider? We definitely had a motion to reconsider. No, it wasn't a motion to reconsider. Yeah, I'm just saying we'll bring it up later. It was the end of the year type. I got of the video time, for it. Let me send it to you. <laughs> it's in my head. <laughs> it's in my computer. <laughs> Which is probably a lot better than my head. <laughs> he has a lot of RAM and about 80 gigabytes, right? Yeah. Maybe 300 gigabytes. Okay, so those are the meeting rules subject yeah. to right. uh, yeah. a le another legal check. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay? I have no problem with okay. that.